Now, a 12 News exclusive, the leader of America's largest bank sits down one-on-one -on -one with our own Ted Nisi. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon was in Providence to visit one of his bank's new local branches and says, despite high inflation, he doesn't think the country has slipped into a recession yet. Ted joins us now with the exclusive interview. As one of the nation's most powerful CEOs, Jamie Dimon has a unique perspective on the American economy, including the ongoing cost of living crisis. Southern New Englanders, like Americans everywhere else, struggling with the rise in inflation. You hear so many uh, explanations for why. Was it the Fed keeping monetary policy too loose? Was it Congress spending too much? Is it the supply chain issues? Is it foreign conflicts? What do you think from your perspective is the biggest driver of why yeah, we I, have this inflation? I, I don't think you have to look for the biggest. You just mentioned the four. We know it's those four. Huge fiscal stimulus, you know, oil prices partially because of Ukraine, uh, uh, a, a rapidly growing economy, a lot of money was handed out. But right now, the economy, if you look at the economy today, it's kind of strong. People are still spending 10% more than last year. They still have a lot of money in their checking accounts. And while it's diminishing, they're still spending. And they're still going out to lunch and dinner and travel and things like that. So I guess we all are hoping the Fed pulls off a soft landing. I wouldn't count on it, but I'm still hoping for it. We saw last week's GDP report showed the economy shrinking for two straight quarters. You just mentioned all the other signs of strength in the economy. Where do you fall in this debate about whether we're in a recession or shortly going to be in one? You know, I, I mean, I, I hate this binary thing about recession. The, the jobs are plentiful, people are spending money, people are still going back to work. It's hard to call that a recession. A lot of these numbers are highly distorted by coming out of COVID, by inflation itself. So the inflation adjustment itself makes the number come way down. So I, if, it, if it is a recession, it's not what I call a normal recession. It doesn't mean we won't have a real one down the road, but it's, it, I wouldn't call this a normal recession right now. Diamond was in the state to visit this brand new Chase branch in Olneyville. Coming up new at 6, why he's making an aggressive expansion push in Rhode Island. In Providence, Ted Nisi, 12 News. Now more of a 12 News exclusive. The powerful head of America's biggest bank goes one-on-one -on -one with our own Ted Nisi. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon tells us he's planning an aggressive push in southern New England. Ted joins us now with the exclusive interview. J.P. Morgan Chase may be America's biggest bank, but it has few depositors in Rhode Island. Jamie Dimon insists that's going to change. A warm welcome Wednesday for J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon. All the branches are doing well. As the billionaire banker visited staff at Chase's sleek new branch in Olneyville. That's where Dimon sat down with 12 News. You, you clearly invested real money in this branch here in Providence. Why do you think it's still worth it? So over time, the branches have changed. A lot less what I call operational, like just transactions and tellers. So fewer tellers, more advisors. And it, and it works. Now, over time, the branch may get smaller, they may change a little bit, but you'll still see customers walking in. They want to open an account, they've got questions. Small businesses have to drop off cash and coin and all those kind of things, so it still works. So you don't think it's going all electronic? You think there'll always be a place for the branch? I, works. Th I think there'll always be a place for branch, yeah. Chase currently has 11 branches in Rhode Island with plans to open nine more by 2025. But the bank still has a long way to go to make its mark locally. FDIC data reviewed by 12 News shows Citizens Bank and Bank of America control 60% of deposits in the state combined. Right now, Chase has less than 1%. What are your ambitions in Rhode Island? Do you want to you know, to get as big as some of the big guys who've been who've been established here a long time, moving for a smaller slice. Well, we don't come here to do one percent or two percent. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the plans are, but think of our our vision is much higher than that. And so that share will be going up every year, probably for hopefully the rest of my life. And you can watch our full interview with Jamie Dimon on an upcoming episode of Newsmakers in Providence. Ted Nisi, 12 News.